Hey guys, what is up? Flyers Sammy 93 here. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about the trade that happened this morning with the Flyers. Uh, they traded Radko Gudis to the Capitals uh, for Matt Niskanen. It was a one-for-one -one deal. Um, I honestly do love this trade by the Flyers. Um, I think it brings in a real veteran guy um, with the young defense that they have. Um, he's another right-handed shot. He's a real good puck-moving defenseman. Um, he does have a little bit of offensive upside to him, too. Um, the only thing that kind of worries me about him is that he's 32. Um, his age is a little is a little it's it's pretty high, and his uh, his contract he's a, he's got five years left on it, and he, and he gets a little bit over five million dollars. Um, so that is a big hit to the uh, cap there. But uh, he didn't really have that good of a season in 18-19. Um, he had eight goals, 17 assists, and for 25 points in 80 games, uh, he was a minus three. But he did play. Uh, 21 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, that was his average ice time. Um, so he was obviously trusted enough by the, uh, the coaching staff, things like that, even though he didn't really have that good of a season um, to be a leader on the ice and was definitely able to uh, play a lot of minutes, especially for his age, too. Um, in his career with Washington, he played there for five years, Dallas with four and Pittsburgh with four. This will be the start of his 13th year in the NHL. Um, he's got 390 games with the Capitals, 29 goals, and 127 assists for 156 points, and he's a plus 58. Now, one thing that kind of, um, one thing I didn't really understand about this trade is that, you know, I, I think Gudis really did have a good year last year, and I think it was a, it was a really big bounce back year for him uh, with the year he had before, and especially in the playoffs and things like that, um, but. I mean, I do, I really do like this trade, but then again, I'm kind of sad to see Gudis go. I mean, as much as, you know, people would bash him about the year before he had and things like that, and they wanted to say he was bad this year, I think he was one of the best defensemen on the team this year. I mean, and, and people can argue that for a long time, but I honestly do think that he was one of the best uh, defensemen on the team this year. He was on the second pair for most of the year. Uh, he was playing with Sanheim, and then he would switch with Hag, and... I think at one point he was playing with Provorov, but I mean, I, I think he really did have a good year. Um, I mean, I think that the way they did the trade, I do like it because they're they save the Flyers are retaining thirty percent of Gudis's salary, so and he gets around I think it was like three he he gets a little bit over three million a year. And I think if, I think it's about a million, like a little bit. It's not a lot over. It's about like a million dollars they're saving, they're keeping. So um, it does help out the Capitals because they're saving about three million a year. But then again, I, I don't. I'm not really worried about the thirty percent saving because I think it's good because it, one, it's not a lot of money, and it really is not that big of a deal because if you have to think about it, because now if they buy out McDonald. So he gets about $5 million a year. They buy out McDonald, and then you have Gossip Spare, Provorov, uh, Niskanen, Sanheim, Hag, and then you have Myers and Morton. That's seven. So, yeah, Gossip Spare, yeah, seven. So if you think about it like that, I, I, I think this team's on, really on, up, on the uprise. Um, I think the defense is going to be pretty good this year. I'm kind of hoping Gossip Spare is a bad, bad bounce back year, uh, but I've been, I've been hearing rumors about Gossip Spare saying he might go, um, you know, Montreal, they have interest in him, things like that, I mean, I don't really, I don't really believe in that stuff, I mean, I only believe in it unless it's talked about a lot throughout the league, and I haven't really seen much about it, so, um, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.